Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Clay Ramage. Back again, that's right, back again with another Goodwill Bins haul video. And I forgot to turn on my light, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I uh, Cindy didn't go with me today, it was just me. But I found some, a few things. Nothing spectacular, but a lot of nice little eclectic mix of things. And um, so yeah, why don't we just get right into it. <laughs> um found this wooden spool but what's fun about this is it says Clayton Bradford on it some of these can be marked with the manufacturer's name this one is and when I saw that Clayton I was like okay even though my name is just clay no ton involved I uh, had to pick it up so there you go I picked up some of this crinkle paper um, again it's really cheap and I use that for packing material I need to um and then I found this cool vintage fabric look at that isn't that fun with the apples and the flowers and the baskets um so yeah this was the last thing I found as I was getting heading to the checkout so that's it and in the bin that oh that'll be great that's a nice vintage fabric I did find a number of different books um not nearly as many as I did <laughs> my previous haul but the Elves and the Shoemaker. I remember this as a kid. It was one of my favorite stories. I loved that story. So I had to get that book. And these are from 1975 editions. Um, Something Queer at the Ballpark. Another interesting. This is the Reader's Digest one. Um, again, 1975 copyright. I never heard of it, but I just like the graphics on the cover. Um, I picked up this. Bible. This is a Catholic heirloom edition, but it's still in this plastic shrink wrap. It's brand new. Um, and these sell for approximately $15 and they sell very quickly. Um, and especially as new like this one is. So I will uh, list that on eBay. Um, they ship book rate. So even though they're large and heavy and I pay by the inch at our uh, Goodwill Outlet Store for books, so that's kind of good. I picked these up. Um, these are card sleeves, you know, for baseball cards and collector cards. Um, just because these are expensive to go to the store and buy on. These are actually 1998. Uh, these are the heavy duty ones. So I thought I can either use them for cards that I have, or um, you know, sell sell that. And then I picked up some great sheet music. Look at this. I love the graphics on sheet music. It's one of the great things about them. Castanets and tambourines. <laughs> that sounds like a fun one. This day is mine. I believe that is... I was trying to remember if that was a wedding song. I think that is a wedding song from many years ago. Anyway, and then Mother McCree, a list of favorite Irish songs. <laughs> so that one doesn't have really any graphics on it. Airplanes and Helicopters, a little um, young adult book. I thought it was great. This When was this one published? This is a Scholastic book. And it is from 1972. I thought, oh, that'll be fun to look and see what, what's there. Richard Scarry's Christmas Mice in the Golden Book. Again, this one's in great condition. 1992, this printing. Um, then there's The Story of Kit Carson. This is a book. Um, there was always a rumor in Cindy's family that they were somehow related to Kit Carson, but that has not ever been proven. Um, so I thought, oh, I gotta pick it up just because of the because of that. Anyway, this is another great local book. 101 Best Stories of Minnesota. I thought that was awesome. And it is um, this is from 1931. So those will be some great stories. I love reading local history. So this one I'll keep, I've will got for myself. But actually, a couple of those I've already just got picked up for us. Oh, knock out, knock, knock jokes. Isn't that awesome? I love that. All right, so we gotta try one. We gotta try a knock knock joke. Knock knock, who's there? Morris, Morris who? 
Morris in the pot, so help yourself. <laughs> Cute. Knock, knock. Who's there? Otis. Otis who? Otis is a, Otis, a wonderful day for a ride in the park. Oh, tis a wonderful day. I oh, got it. Fun. That'll be a fun little book. And then I picked up this one, The Outline of History by H.G. Wells. Um, it says, The Outline of History being a plain history of life and mankind by H.G. Wells. Which, I didn't realize he wrote a history book. But here it is. This is a 1949 publication. It was originally copywritten in 1920. So I found that quite interesting. The things you learn in the buns. It's always an educational experience. And then I also found this little... Uh, uh, actually, it was given as a First Communion book in 1933. So it's got St. Teresa on the cover. And then there's different hymns and prayers in here. The clasp is broken. It used to have a clasp that held it closed, but I just thought that was pretty, pretty special little book. And then I did find some jewelry. This was all loose in the bins and I put it in this little plastic bag so I wouldn't lose it. But this is the most fabulous piece. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a statement piece or what? That's, I, just, I didn't even look to see if it has a mark. I just threw it in this bin. Um, yeah, it's not. It's costume jewelry, but that is just... I'm not even seeing any missing rhinestones on that, but I just couldn't pass that up. That is so cool. And let's see, there's some bangles. Uh oh this one's all tangled up in this one. This one's a... I guess you... I don't know. Could be a necklace, like a choker style, or you could wear it as a, I don't know. I'm not a jewelry man. Other than I just pick it up at the bins. <laughs> um, and then there's this lot that's all tied together with string, because it got mixed in. So, yeah, that's gonna take a while to get the string out of all of that. Um, and again, this is all, I believe, costume jewelry. I didn't see anything that was, um, that I would say is any precious metal or anything like that. So yeah, just some more stuff to throw in my little lot as I throw it on the floor. <laughs> all right, so then I debated on this tin. It's a beautiful little tin. Somebody tried to sell it at the garage sale for a dollar, it looked like. This is a Canco tin, so it originally would have had candies, probably from the 40s, 1940s. Um, and they filled it with lots of little goodies. I've got to take those out. Um, so yeah, but it's a nice little can. These actually um, sell for around $20. I was kind of surprised. That's why I went back and grabbed it. So that was a good find. Found a little bar of soap. We usually pick up these handmade soaps when we find them at the bins because we like the handmade quality of them. This is actually a uh, light off of an old um, metal car or truck. And uh, it was in this lot of a bunch of, um, you know, like vintage junk drawer stuff. Little darning sock um, mold, whatever you call those. I can't think of it. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm going to stop saying, um, found a metronome. This is a new metronome, or at least I think it's new. It could be used. I don't know. It looks new. Looks like it's not been used. It's a Korg metronome. Mark $24.99 on the package. These sell for, you know, around $15 in the used market. Um, 10 to 15. But yeah. I thought that was a good find. I found these. There's silver plate salt and pepper shakers, but the reason I grabbed them is because they're in the box, but also they're cobalt blue. I love that blue. 
really kind of cool. Oh, here's a kill. UK patent number. Gottinger, made in Hong Kong. So, yeah, just a fun little silver items. Oh, this was pretty cool. This is um, Walt Disney ashtray in a purple patent pending. So, yeah. So, I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. That was in that same box as the, um, the little knob. Oh, yes. And this coin. Um, this is United in Holy Matrimony. It's a it's called a day to remember your eternal good luck wedding coin. And then it puts the name of the couple that got married and their wedding date, which is in 1968. I just never saw one of those before. I thought that was quite interesting. <laughs> and this was also in the lot. In rest. So this is like a uh, at rest, but not in rest. At rest. So like a um, funeral plaque. Probably put on a headstone or something. Interesting. And then I picked up these vintage dice. They're made in Taiwan, but they're um, golf related. Little set of five still in the original little case. I just thought they were quite interesting. Those little things are, I like to put down with the pink elephant. And speaking of golf, I found this was also in that same little box of miscellaneous stuff, but it's a golf ball embosser. So um, you can, you know, stamp your name on your golf ball. So if you lose it, you, you know, or you, you know, you can tell which one's yours. So I think it's missing something because there's a supposed to be a rod there, but. I just thought it was kind of cool. There's no plates in it to know what the name is. Never saw one of those before. And then I found these guys. A couple more things. <laughs> these are awesome. Look at these little plastic snowman flocked. Then there's the mouse also flocked. And this guy is made in Japan. So he's a, made in Japan. And then there was this pig, a little felt pig ornament. Thought they were, they were cute. And then a couple more things. I found this Hershey's Kiss mug. It's from 1979. Um, a kiss for you. I thought with Valentine's Day coming up, this is awesome. So it's in great shape. No chips or cracks. It's just dirty. Just needs a good clean. And we can put that out. Okay, this is, last summer I picked up a whole lot, like a hundred pieces of Longaberger pottery um, at a garage sale. And I finally got it listed, most of it. I had listed a little bit of it and none of it sold. But then I finally got the rest of it listed in the last couple of weeks. And I've been selling a lot of it. And I found one of these at the bins. It's one of their little crocs. And the reason I did is because I have a whole bunch of these coasters or lids that go to the crocs um that i didn't have crocs for so i thought well there's another one and i've been selling the croc so there now i got a lid for my croc <laughs> so i thought for 49 cents i will do that all right and then i found this sweater i just thought this sweater was crazy i don't know if you guys remember back in the I think late 80s, early 90s, this whole multi-pattern colored theme was all over the place in clothing. I used to have some. This is uh, made in Taiwan. Hand wash, cold, dry, flat, do not wring. Elite sport, never heard of it. But yeah, our normal clothing people weren't there today. So the clothes weren't as picked over as they normally are. Not that I do much on clothes, but it was just fun to go and see all the clothes. Um, then I just got a couple more things. Cindy went to uh, a thrift store over the weekend and picked up a couple things. And these are some vintage Christmas tags from 1984. And then she also picked up this pendant, which is really interesting. And you guys, if you know anything about it, you can tell me more about it. It's a 
like a globe, clear crystal, but it's a locket. So it opens up. Let's see if I can get it open. It opens up and so you could I assume put pictures in there and then you have have it as a round pendant to display your pictures. You don't have to open it to see the pictures. I just thought that was pretty cool. Never saw anything quite like it. Haven't been able to find anything similar on eBay either. So if you guys know anything, let me know. It's kind of a cool little pendant. So, but that's what we have for our haul today. Kind of a small haul, but a lot of good stuff. And again, I spent $25, just under $25 for everything. So and a number of things are for personal use, but yeah, just a couple things and we got our money back. So it's good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time.